Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? Looks like my controller is about to die, so that can't be good. Um, yeah, this isn't good. <laughs> but the spinoff of Inuyasha is getting pretty interesting getting more information as of how I pretty much asked for it, right? Like, I asked to see what could happen to the sister, um, how do they all, how do they all know each other the way that they do, and since they all know each other, why is it that they were, um, so inclined to work together, uh, and, I mean, mind you, when we first pick up with the story, she's under, you know, like supposedly controlled by some people and they're trying to get information out. So that alone kind of puts us in a position to know that whoever this person was, he was capable of subduing uh, this ridiculously powerful half demon who completely on the other side of things was just soloing like humans over and over easily so not even soloing them but taking on gangs of them without taking like any damage at all so it's kind of crazy to know that somehow some way she is still you know in a world where excuse me where people can actually you know take her on and give her a challenge where she straight up fought against this demon and winds up losing uh well all the girls wind up losing these pearls that they have and i wouldn't really be surprised if she loses her especially seeing how she pulled out a sword and it straight up didn't even end up helping her at the end of the day right so these are the types of stuff that make you really wonder about where they're going to go with those pearls, if they're going to take them all away from the girls, or if it's going to be the one thing that kind of keeps them all together, and wondering what other ones are out there, which it kind of is the equivalent of the shards, right? The shards that uh, Kagome was pretty much capable of seeing and hitting and taking and stuff like that, so... It feels like these are a little bit more open to anybody. <coughs> so it's not like, oh, what are you looking at? I can't see that pearl that you're talking about, you know, something like that. It isn't like that. Seems like anybody could pretty much see it. And because of this, um, we also know that they're magical in some way, shape or form going into the eyeball of these characters. And for some reason, when it's taken out, it doesn't need to be forcefully, right? The, it's almost like the pearls chose to come out themselves or something this week. So I'm not exactly sure where they're going to go with all of that. But I am interested nonetheless because of where things are headed for the story as a whole. I mean, supposedly all three of them are relatively close enough to be traveling together or at least in a position to help each other out unless the, the first episode where she's like in that position that she's in is because she allows herself to be taken in uh, so she maybe can get some information about these people who also were studying uh, the out world or something like that I don't know but from what I could take from all this is we are definitely looking at some nuance when it comes down to how broken this girl is but the nuance comes from it almost feels like she is the true uh main character and the girl that actually seems like it is inuyasha's daughter and kagome's she is kind of the side character in this in this whole thing or they're just gonna make them all you know protagonists because at the end of the day inuyasha was the front runner right but at the end, but he kind of didn't seem like he needed to be, right? Like, it almost felt like if you weren't just an Inuyasha fan, 
I'm pretty sure you know better than me. There were a lot of episodes that Inuyasha wasn't necessarily needed. And they kind of just did stuff outside of him, right? And that's where the show also took a nice, like, standing with me. is because it wasn't afraid to get away from their character. But not only did they get away from Inuyasha, it was still good. There was no, like, real dip in the quality of the storytelling. Sure, they couldn't do Windscar or the, the techniques we all know and love of Inuyasha to save, you know, the people that they're running into, but even the characters who were kind of useless and transformed and did this stuff, uh, even he had an episode that he became useful, you know, so I expect to really feel like this show is based on you know the three girls but the one girl I think it can't really follow and be as good right now anyway and it's only been two episodes so come on um is the girl with the the uh the spear blade I was gonna try to say the actual name but I always get it wrong and I'd rather not butcher it right now um but pretty much the young sister of the girl that's in the other world she does not seem like she can have a story based on her. I mean, to be fair, the one thing that was actually a saving grace for her character, in my opinion, that makes me think she is a little bit better than I'm giving her credit for, is that she already has a relationship with the Demon Slayers, which makes a lot of sense with her talking about her dream, like her, uh, her overall dreams or her memories something along that line was eaten I think it was her dreams um, but whatever it is she's lost more memory than even our girl and our girl over 10 year over the span of 10 years started to just lose it right naturally uh, in this case she lost him forcefully and then 10 years go by or you know I don't know if she just lost him as of you know, nine, uh, nine years ago, or it was a year ago, um, but regardless, she's lost them in a much, much messed up fashion than our girl, so it goes to show you, if she could barely remember the stuff until she, like, got a sniff of the smell, and she remembered that this is her sister, and that she used to sit, like, in this moon, or uh, the sunset area, that's the type of stuff that, you know, the other girl would need but guess what they meet face to face and she doesn't recognize the smell she doesn't she doesn't do any of that stuff she actually tells her in the preview supposedly don't even come near me right like clearly something happens after the monster either the monster is going to get banished back into the tree or it's going to be killed and they all get their pearls back whatever the case is i can't wait to see that um but Outside of that, we know from the previews, mostly, she doesn't recognize or know anything about her, so I don't know how she's going to take that, but of course, it seems like that's a good way for them to work together, right? That's a way to bring the story near them, but I don't know so much about the bounty hunter, <laughs> you know? Like, it sounds more like she's just going to tag along because she knows these two are strong, and they might be capable of running into more trouble if all the pearls are together and not just these. Or we're going to get a grand, the old scheme. And we're going to finally know, you know, exactly what they're going back into that world for. Like, what is their actual destination and stuff like that. I think that is what we're going to ultimately see uh, be the reason keeping these girls together. But if not, we'll see what happens regardless because this show is part of my childhood in the first half. So I can only imagine what they're going to do with this show. And I believe it's already confirmed to be more than like 12 episodes. So there's no problem there for me. But at the end of the day, I really just hope we get to see some amazing stuff from whatever comes out of this. But with that, all that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing day, night, evening, my anime. There's so much to talk about. And I hope y'all are having fun. If, let me know if there's other animes you want me to watch. 
I will be doing over reviews for those stuffs. I just can't. There's no way I can keep up with every single show that has started to come out because there's just too many. Um, and not to mention, I have to watch them, remember them, plots, remember small details, and try to give you guys all the information I'm noticing, you know. Yeah, it's kind of hard. <laughs> but have an awesome one, everybody. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.